Alright, this is my last attempt. I'm recording for 40 minutes now. I keep... Uh, this is why. This is why. This is exactly what I'm trying to do. What I have to bear with. I've been trying to... And now there's an airstrike all... This is what I have to deal with for the last 40 minutes. Fix the problem that uh, Prisma somehow ruins um, the experience for every player on the test server. The Prisma simply fills up the battleship meter in 5 seconds. And then they can constantly send airstrikes at you. Next to the fact that obviously Prisma is way too powerful here on the test server and just finishes robots at max range in seconds. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny and welcome to the new test server this weekend. As promised, with the new Seraph robot, we have five different setups available here uh, that I've prov uh, prepared. Uh, one of them, or four different rather. Uh, we have the Hornet. I want to test how good does the Hornet go through other Seraph's um, uh, reflector or no, force field. It's a force field they get. Uh, let's see how the corrosion eats through that. I think it may work. And then, of course, we have uh, the new DK weapon. I made two setups with this. And then Redeemers and Smootas. Let's go and test the brand new flying super powerful mega robot. Um, we have uh, a lot of balancing questions here because there are no pilots right now for the game. So I don't know if Pixonic will give the Seraph robot the most overpowered pilot ability in the game, which would be... Um, the uh, Deft Survivor or Clever Survivor. This is always a way for Pixonic to make things way overpowered. And uh, if it's a new robot, maybe they're gonna give it to him, but I think he shouldn't. He should be like the Hawk. If he drops to 50%, he does not get the ability again. But um, we don't know right now because there are no pilots. So uh, we'll have to wait. They have homing machine guns. You can tell they're trying to home them around the corner. And uh, I don't want this. Bam, bam, bam. Here are the new weapons, and you see they rework the the uh, the visuals for him. Very cool. Um, they're attacking the left flank. I want to attack somewhere. Maybe we can go up on the high position. The Seraph should fly high enough, right? Yes. Wow! Look at this flight. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Oh, come on, Seraph. Ugh. Okay. Whew, that was close. I almost didn't make it. Nice, and I dropped him to last stand in the last second there. Good. The enemy's uh, uh, Syrof there, Seraph dropped. Bam, 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 bam. Targeting system failure, absolute massacre failure by my targeting system. Swapping to a guy on the ground. Um, remember the third shot does the highest amount of damage on these weapons, right? That's how it works. So he's standing there in the ball. Let's see if we can support down here. Oh, he's already looking up here, look. Let's fly up, bam, 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 nice. We're not getting through his physical shield though, it seems. But now he's lost his physical shield. Very nice. The flight or the ability duration is really long. You can fire for so long. It, 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 it really goes so quick, uh, so long, the ability. Bam, 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 bam. Dropping through his shield. Every enemy is here on this flank, apparently. Which is not bad, but it also means I, I'm i heavily outnumbered. Bam, 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 nice. So this weapon here isn't really, you know, it's... Let's test hitting everything in front of us, okay? We should be able to hit... No, I'm not hitting everything in front of us. I'm only hitting one guy. Okay. I'm gonna start uh, my healing here. Although, I, I guess it wasn't necessary here. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Look at the position he got. Oh, my God. What a boss player is he, dude. Look at this position. I can't even shoot him back because my weapons hit the wall. And he hangs there with the most powerful, devastating, dangerous weapons that exist in this game. Hanging right in, in my face. Wow, what a boss, dude. The way he landed. Look at the legs. Even on the test server, he just teleported 50 meters or something. Something hit me from below. I'm trying to work through his shield. Alright, let's heal up so we don't lose our weapons. And fly above the enemy, dude. So he can't hit me. Alright, we're, we're dropping through the enemy uh, shield here. On the tier robot. Ba -ba -bam, ba -ba -bam. And then we're immediately gone as soon as our reflector dies or our resistance. Alright, let's use a more brawly weapon. That was, uh, that was a new decay weapon. I again, it's a 600 meter range sniper. Right? It's not really a brawler. If I have had the redeemers in this situation, I could have done so much more. Why is all the enemy team in one location? What is going on here? I don't understand. Okay, ba ba bam. Ba ba bam. This is the tier robot again. Let's hit them with the airstrike. They're standing very close together. 
Okay, the Ravana comes up. This guy should be going down from our lasers. Yes, now I'm hitting both players. Did you see that? For a second, I was able to hit both players there. And boom, 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 boom. The double redeemers are just packing such a punch, dude. <laughs> it's insane. I wish I've had the double redeemers while we were in the other situation there a second ago. That would have been really good. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Look at these legs, man. You, these guys are not moving straight at all. They're just teleporting. The only thing I see is them teleporting left and right the entire time. It's all I see. Not a single fluid movement. All just swip swapping, teleporting left and right. Unbelievable how bad the game lags, man. All right, so let's hop into the next match immediately. Uh, and... We only did 1 million damage, but that's because we used the decay weapon. So I wanted to show this to you, it's more of a sniper um, than it is a brawler. And that's why, in the situation we were in, we were in 300 or less meter range. We could have had double redeemers for maximum damage output. So here we are on Beacon Rush on Power Plant. That's a really good map. Uh, let's run our... Yeah, let's go with the, uh, with the Hornet, right? Let's see if we can eat through some Sarah force fields with this. Um... And, uh, of course, half the teams will both be using Prismas with Erebus or Behemoths on both sides. Okay, so, let's see if we can find another Seraph somewhere that we can shoot when he flies up. Because I want to test. Oh, nice, we have a cheating s uh, shell. Oh, my God. All right, let's go at him. Here we're flying up. Adding some corrosion to him. And, yeah, he, he went down rather fast, I guess. So this guy is the cheater here. He's uh, he's now cheating, because uh, why not? Why why not cheat on the test server? And uh, because it so makes so much sense. Um, I'm hitting the uh, the guy in the air. You see, he's being actually eaten up there. The corrosion is taking a lot a lot of da damage away from him. Okay, bam, 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 bam. So we are adding corrosion, and he should be ticking down rather nicely from it. Um, but he's, he, I think he started healing. Yeah, he activated healing mode, but he's gone. Very nice. I land up on the higher surface here. He's got the new decay weapon. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Very good. Maybe we drop him to last then with the corrosion. Ah, one little tiny sliver of damage was missing. But hey, we can at least test uh, the, the Hornet a little bit. Um, what do we have here? Is he just lasering me? Th He's lasering me through the wall. What? Why? Starting to fly up here. Boom, boom, boom. Hitting that uh, Orochi with all the corrosion we have. Okay, he's going down. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have we have uh, Prisma setups here. Air striking both players at the same time, hoping that I can hit them. Nice. This guy went down fast. Yes, I think I hit, the, I hit both players. I hit the uh, Behemoth. And I also think I hit the, the Erebus there, um, with his, uh, what is it, what setup is he using, I don't know. Flying up, bam, 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 very nice. This guy's out of reach, but I can hit him. Of course, he in his, his, in his ball mode. And, and of course, the enemy team also has a Prisma Behemoth again. Alright, so we're back in the action, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, test a little more uh, on this setup here. Um, there's a, a Scorpion. I'm hitting him with double redeemers. Before he jumps, he's already done. Nice. Then we have a Kepri there, who takes a couple of good shots from my redeemers. Another scorpion, apparently. Enter stealth. How does the scorpion enter stealth? Oh, he must have had the um, the thing. Um, okay, let's hit at this guy. Do you notice that the hitbox is on the ground? You hit him on the ground. I'm airstrike killing him now. Boom. Nice. Okay, emptying the clip, of course, on no one because everybody is in cover. And now we can start to fly and hit everyone at the same time. Let's kill that, that Kepri. Bam! And then this guy. Boom, and then him. The more damage we take, uh, do, the more... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the more damage we do, the more resistance uh, he loses in the air. There's a very powerful sniping Ming. But he's already getting taken on by this boss player with his Typhon there. Awesome job, man. He's taking out that threat for us. Ba-ba-bam, ba-ba-ba-ba-bam, ba-ba-ba-ba-bam, ba-ba-bam. Come on, Redeemer. Come on, Redeemer. 
Yes! Good job, Redeemer. Okay, he's just standing there now. Oh gosh, Titans are spawning in. Starting to fly up, but I think I'm getting ruined by him because he's actually having a uh, basilisk we weapons that break my resistance. I can, however, make him miss a couple of shots. I'm gonna try and walk in cover here. If I can, I don't know. I already lost a heavy weapon! It's money gaming! Alright, this is my last attempt. I'm recording for 40 minutes now. I keep- uh, This is why. This is why. This is exactly what I'm trying to do. What I have to bear with. I've been trying to- And now there's an airstrike all- This is what I have to deal with for the last 40 minutes. Fix the problem that uh, Prisma somehow ruins um, the experience for every player on the test server. The Prisma simply fills up the battleship meter in five seconds. And then they can constantly send airstrikes at you. Next to the fact that obviously Prisma is way too powerful here on the test server and just finishes robots at max range in seconds. Alright, so this was the test server, ladies and gentlemen, this weekend. Um, testing the Seraph robot. I feel like it was really interesting. It's an interesting robot. It doesn't seem completely overpowered. Of course, with the Deft Survivor and Clever Survivor, it will be overpowered because you'll have the ability twice. Uh, but um, right now, the damage output from the built-in laser does not seem too crazy. And, uh, and also, the reflector, if you shoot it enough, you can actually start dealing damage to it. So it, it, it's, it seems uh, really well um, re well fitting in right now into the test server. Uh, of course, we have on the test server the problems that Pixonic seems to be unable to fix is the Prisma uh, filling up battleship supports in seconds. Basically, that everybody who runs the Prisma, Erebos or Prisma Behemoth simply spams you with battleship airstrikes or, or whatever. It's completely insane and, and ruins the testing experience for me and for everyone else. Uh, but, um, well, apparently it's not very high up on the priority to list this fix this because it's been there too long. Uh, but yeah, for now, this has been it. Ladies and gents, take, thank you for watching and I wish you all a great weekend. See you around in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.